What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for the reaction and today is a great, wonderful, beautiful day because it's a Sweden day. Swedish versus American homes, what is the difference? Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Well hey guys, it's Andrew <laughs> coming at you and in this one, after living in Sweden for six years, I thought it would be fun to talk about the differences between homes in America versus Sweden. That's coming up, but I feel like... We need something cool. Some kind of cool thing with slow-mo. We'll get it. <laughs> Andrew's funny. So one of the first things the difference is, is depending on where you are in the United States, but uh, where I was in Pennsylvania, we didn't always take off our shoes, but in a Swedish home, you're always going to take off your shoes. I know this one, guys. I've seen this, heard this, and spoke about this many times. In my household, we take off our shoes. Do you know why? Because it gets dirty inside. Nobody wants dirty shoes from outside, inside. It's common sense, really. It is common sense. It annoys me every time I hear it, but I'm going to let him off because I already know Americans don't take off their shoes when they go inside. And, I mean, at least he's learning. <laughs> Off your shoes and usually have a spot in the location where we can take off our shoes. It was a little muddy the last couple of days, but I'm gonna put this over here. Brother, won't you be? Won't you be my sweet? Don't they have chair racks? Uh, chair racks, shoe racks, shoe racks in uh, America? Do they not have these by their door? where you take your shoes off and put them on. What do they do? Do they just walk through the house with their muddy shoes, then go to their bedrooms or to their rooms, and then just take off the shoes and throw them in the corner? Like, what <laughs> What do they do? I need to know what Americans do when they come into their house, or do they just wear their shoes all day long through the house, and then they take them off and they go to bed? I need to know. I need to know. Do you guys know? I don't know. I don't know. My neighbor. So getting that out of the way, I want to talk about two other things that are going to be different in the homes in Europe and Sweden as opposed to the United States. The next one is the light switches here. If you look at the switches here, the way the light switches work in Sweden is a bit different. Our light switches are a little bit smaller and go up and down like this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and link a picture there so you guys can see. Them. Oh, they have those, those type of switches. Yeah, no, in, in the UK we also have those flippy ones. Flippy ones? <laughs> push it, push it. It's so easy to do. You don't have to like flick anything. Um, oh, I don't know. See that. that. The next these. difference has to do with the electrical system that we use here. We use the EU plug cable, and in the United States, you're going to have to use this prong one as well. And in some homes, funny enough, there's a three prong one in older homes in the United States that you need to use. I want to show you something else really, really cool that we have here. Uh, this is an oven that I'm sure the technology exists in the United States, but if you throw stuff on it when it's off, it'll start beeping. But if you check this out, if I just put this on and like turn it on instantly, it's an induction oven, which is really, really cool. You'll see here the water will like instantly start to boil up and it starts to heat up. But the parts here don't get hot. And it's kind of like a smart oven as well. If you leave stuff on it, it beeps. If uh... I'm just trying to figure out what he's talking about. Is he, is he, is he shocked about an, a stove top that's electric? I don't, guys, I don't know. I was there the whole time listening to him, trying to figure out what he's what he's shocked about. Because don't they have those in the UK? I mean, UK, in the US. I'm sure they have those in the US. Surely they have those electric st stove tops that turn on and off by themselves and like have little beeps when they have that. I don't know. I don't believe them. They definitely have those in america maybe where he's from in america they don't have them maybe they have gas but electric stove tops come on uh, surely you're cleaning it it beeps and it won't let you have stuff on when it's off and what's nice too is it doesn't get hot here so if you get the camera closer you can see that the water is actually already starting to heat up it's the most insane thing i've ever had i love this technology another thing guys that i want to talk about here is the windows in sweden and how they're different to the united states a lot of times our windows, and there are older windows in Sweden that open a little bit differently, but the windows we have in the United States a lot of times are like two windows here and you can kind of just slide it up and open it. And we almost those always are old school have a screen. windows. But in every Swedish home I've been to here, and I've heard there are screens, but they typically open out like this. Yeah. Uh, and then you can hit the buttons here and you can actually open the whole window out because in the summer, a lot of homes don't have air conditioning like we have in the United States. But the one thing that annoys me about that with Swedish homes, no offense to everybody, is just simply that 
the bugs and things can get in. So I'm not a big fan of that. But I can show you one other thing with that is with decks as well, in other homes, it's the same. Like a deck door, like this one we have here, you'll be able to just go ahead and open uh, the whole entire door here and let the air in, which is really nice in the springtime. It's very, very cozy. Just the difference, like I said, is the American homes, we would have like a screen here, which would be really, really nice. Oh, like a mosquito net screen. He might have a point because you guys in Scandinavia, you have a lot of mosquitoes. In the UK, we don't have a lot of mosquitoes, but you guys have a lot of mosquitoes. So maybe he has a point with the net. I think you could probably do with a net. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, but the fact that they open, I don't, I don't see what's so exciting in the windows. That's what UK windows are like as well. We can open them out, we can open fully out. It's the same. Guys, by the way, our video today is sponsored by Lurkit.com, your number one spot for esports and multi streams. Uh, the link is in the description below. Please go and support them. Another thing I want to talk about quickly is door handles and how the door handles work here. Uh, in the US, a lot of times we have knobs, but as you can see here, just simply up and down here. So the door handles are different. It's all little small differences. And, uh, to the <laughs> they only have door knobs. <clears throat> when I think of door knobs, because we have those in the UK, but I think of my grandma. I think about I think about my grandparents. That's the last time I've seen like doorknobs in my grandma's home. Uh, it's a very old school door handle to have. It just seems like they haven't really updated a lot of their things in America yet. To the TV tax people, uh, this is a very very big uh, computer monitor. Thank you. One thing I want to mention that we don't have here <laughs> is staircases. A TV lot of times tax. In the you don't have that anymore, do you? Just go straight up. Again, I'll put a picture in. And in Swedish homes, I notice a lot of more modern Swedish homes having more of a spiral staircase, which kind of utilizes more space. This okay. is the room that has the biggest differences in it, and this is our bathroom. And I'm just going to show you a couple of unique things we have here. The first thing I want you to look at is the toilet. And all, although our toilet only has one flusher here, many toilets in the United States are going to have the flusher on the left or the right here. Our home only has one flusher, but most modern homes, this is a little bit older home, most modern homes have uh, two flushers. One that's for the pee and one that's for yeah. the poo. And it's supposed to help with the overall flushing. As an American, it was kind of tough to get used to because let me tell you, when I pee, I still want to get that flush all the way out there. <laughs> in America, we don't care about saving water. But in Europe, we care about saving water. A lot of our toilets in the UK as well have uh, one button for a shorter flush for urine and one for a longer flush for a number two. Because uh, we care about the planet and we care about water. Obviously... Americans don't. <laughs> Up there, I don't want to keep that it's still there, but it's a nice little extra thing. Now, let me go ahead and show you our shower because this is also a unique thing. Now, most shower places in Sweden utilize this space. As you can see, this bathroom is utilized. It's also a laundry room. And this is really okay. cool here because this is a washer machine slash a dryer machine, but most Swedes, including myself, we typically don't use the dryer so much in the summertime. We actually hang our clothes out. Which yeah. is a difference in, in, from the United States because we typically have a sweet, oh, Swedish. We typically have a washer and dryer, and we actually have. That uses a lot of electricity. It's the same in the UK. When it's the summertime, we would have a clothes rack or a washing line and we'd hang it outside in the summer. We wouldn't have a dryer necessarily. Some people do, but it's just a waste of money, especially when it's. If it's sunny outside, just hang it up outside, right? Uh, in the winter, we have. Um, I don't know if you guys have this in the in the um, in Sweden or in, or in your older houses. We have this thing called an airing cupboard. An air, airing cupboard. It usually houses the boiler for the for the house, and it's all like a hot a hot cupboard where you can hang wet clothes in. I don't know if you guys have that in my family home we had one of those and we used to hang wet clothes in there to dry um or alternatively in the winter we would just hang it on a rack and then pull it into the conservatory where the sun gets in and can dry the clothes what do you guys do in the winter what do you do with clothes how do you dry your clothes let me know in the comment section below I actually have a room for that so it's really cool that we utilize the space here um but like i said a lot of shower areas uh the bathroom utilizes the space because you have, I'll show you here, how this closes, this kind of folds in on itself here. 
So we can fold we can fold this part in. A lot of times in American homes, I've never really seen this in any home, but uh, maybe a few. But most of our showers are completely attached to the wall here, and we can't move them. But in the Swedish homes, you can do this, which is really cool because you want to go like this, this, this. You can reach all those areas with the pressure. Uh, it's just one of those. They don't have detachable showers. What? <laughs> they just have a pipe coming from the wall, like. I don't know. I just find it so weird, isn't it? In a lot of ways, the US is a very developed place in the world. But in a lot of ways, they're quite backward in certain aspects of what they do. Like, they don't try and make their lives easier in a way, in a sense. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm, not, if I'm making sense speaking to my Swedish audience. Like, you guys, like, do you think feel the same way? Sometimes I... I, I watch this and I'm like, how do you not have that? Like, how do you not have this? How do you, uh, your windows are like that? Your doors are like, your doorknobs are like that? Like, I don't know. I just think Europe does, I think it may be because of the European Union and just the whole of Europe in, in general, uh, even the countries that are not in the European Union, like we just have a, we have certain standards when it comes to certain things certain regulations like locks should look like this doors should be like this windows should be like this showers should be like this kind of i don't know maybe i'm just talking shit <laughs> but let me know in the comment section section below and there's things that we don't have in the united states is common that i just find to be interesting hey guys remember these come in this is my recording studio this is where all the magic the youtube magic that you see happens here but one thing i want to talk about well is the lights here and how they work. I'll show you. And maybe this happens in the States, but I don't think so, so much, but you can see that like, you can actually just like pull this off the wall here and unplug it and you can take the whole thing down. I'm not gonna do that now because I won't be able to put it back up. As you can see here, I'm not the tallest guy, but uh, I, I never noticed this in the United States. If I'm wrong, please, please tell me in the comments below. But, What's that, you could plug it out? Yeah, I just think that's different. Hey guys, welcome to my video. Yeah, we don't have that. I just wanna show you one that's final different. thing and that has to do with the uh, the way that the final bed sheet or the big bed sheet is in the United States, what's different about this is that uh, it's just one sheet by itself. And these Swedish sheets, a lot of times you can see here, there's like a sheet, actually an inner sheet inside here. You don't wash this part, you wash the outside part. Our sheets is like... They don't have duvets. What do they have then? Yeah, I'm confused. He's like, there's an inner part? Yeah, the inner part's separate. That's a duvet and that's a cover that goes on the, over the top. Inner sheet inside here. You don't wash this part, you wash the outside part. Our yeah, sheets there. is like one big sheet, the final sheet, I guess, and we wash it, but not all the time, not as often as you wash everything else in your clothes. And I want to talk about this final thing. Yeah, uh, they wash it, but not very often. That's a bit dirty. I, I just feel like... <laughs> mm. I don't know, I don't know. So they have like one... Like, it's one piece. It's just, like, one solid duvet that already has a pattern on the outside and they shove the whole thing in the washing machine. I prefer the way that we do it with the actual duvet and then the cover. It's just... It makes sense, like... I don't know. Final thing, this, uh, the wall here, um, the parts in the American homes, we usually have, like, a, a little bit cheaper drywall. Some places you can just, like, punch right in. But this is uh, concrete. It depends on the place you're in. But a lot of these places are a lot more sturdy here uh, and you're able to not punch through them so easily. Not that I'm punching so much in the homes. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Uh, so thank you for checking out this video. Uh, I'm about to take a nap because, you know, I'm 31. I'm a bit of an old man right now. And I just wanted to, I'm sure I missed some stuff here, but I was excited to do this video. I've been wanting to do it for a long, long time. So put in the comments below the things that I missed. Uh, and again, if you're new to the channel, we'd love to have you subscribe or talk about things in Sweden. Please visit the sponsor we have in the list below. And I'm going to see a nap, guys, so head on. <laughs> he's, he's funny. He puts a lot of effort into his videos. I really like him. Go and support Andrew. Uh, and support me. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. I bet there's people that haven't subscribed to me yet and they watch my videos. You should do that. Right. And also, that was really, really good. There were a few things... Like, the only thing I think I haven't seen before is the the light with the plug. You could plug it out. That was really strange. That's different. Uh, but I think, f for the most part, Sweden, 
and British homes have a lot of similarities. But America, <laughs> they're like aliens. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.